I am more than the sum of my experiences. I am more than my past. The trauma of my rape in the military compounded what my stepfather had done to me as a child of seven. I am sorry because once again in the military you are all alone. But believe that everything happens for a reason. And although we may not know it, be mindful though God doesn't give you more than you can't handle. One in five women have experienced sexual trauma while serving in the military, according to the Department of Veterans Affairs. The VA hospital in Long Beach, California, offers a program called Renew for survivors of sexual trauma. Many of these women are or have been homeless. The program offers intensive therapy and housing. Welcome, everyone, to our Renew graduation. This is the 22nd class. The RENEW program is to treat women, veterans, with sexual trauma. Um, and it started in 2005. We got a grant with um, U.S. Vets to create a partnership so that we could service homeless women veterans. A major pathway to poverty and homelessness for women veterans is sexual trauma in the military. And women veterans are the fastest growing segment of the homeless population in the United States. Once they've had the sexual trauma, then it's difficult for them to keep a job, or they might have symptoms of PTSD or difficulty sleeping. It's like a cascade of negative events, and a family that might otherwise care for someone who's having multiple types of, of issues and trouble um, might be the original source of abuse. Some of the women who have just completed the 12-week course agree to share their stories and their journal entries on the condition that we not disclose their names. It got to the point where I couldn't sleep. I was having nightmares. Um, I was tired all the time. I just couldn't, it really became hard for me to function. I did six years. I was a security police officer, was in the Air Force. I really enjoyed my job. I became homeless. And there are different stages of homelessness, but for me, my stage of homelessness was couch surfing. I had a bout of homelessness. I was living in my trailer. Um, I found out about Renew through some veterans. I served in Iraq for 15 months. It seems like there's a pattern. I've, women that I've met in the military that I've talked to seems that they've been through a whole lot of stuff even before they joined the military. I'm the oldest of the group. and. Like for 30 years, I, I never talked about it. Um, I refused to deal with it at all, but it was affecting my life. You ready? I'm ready. Just kick, push, kick, push, kick. Mm. Thank your body, thank your spirit, thank God. Don't ever change your thinking after you get readjusted to yourself. PTSD, post-traumatic stress, reincurrences of episodes of the past. At times you try to deal with it, but it's hard. Accept things as they are. Take responsibility. Letting go of expectations. The power of reframing. Meditate. Listen to your inner wisdom. Trying to numb the pain with drugs and alcohol. They say to talk about it and find a release. But you really can't talk to nobody because it's too deep. I'm constantly growing and evolving into a better version of myself. They the majority and you're the minority. And what you want to do if they the police or top dog of the military and they want you to confide. Yeah, right, please. All the choices you made made us seem wrong at the time. But you did what you thought was right to get by. Every day that I wake, I meditate and pray. It's really hard some days, but I know that I'm going to be OK. If I kick and I push, just kick, push, kick, that's it.